The Liquidity Finder Levels Indicator is provided for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and apply it to the chart. Also, traders can own this page to know how the indicator works. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just pay attention to activate the Allow DLL Imports option from the Complete Settings section and then click the OK option. With the indicator placed on the chart, it starts searching and drawing dynamic liquidity levels as trend lines and static liquidity lines, which appear as double bottoms or double tops. In the Settings section, under Inputs, there are options available for us. The first part relates to display settings, which includes the indicator's theme or template, consisting of three parts, light, dark, and custom. Selecting the light option applies a light template to the chart. The template placed on the chart changes to a dark template when the dark option is selected, and the custom option retains your personalized template, applying only the indicator to the chart. The next section pertains to the indicator settings, specifically the static line settings, which can be adjusted from a value of 1 to 14. The higher this number is, and the closer it is to 14, the more static levels it will display. The next section pertains to the settings of dynamic lines, which can be adjusted from 14 down to 1. The lower this number goes, the more liquidity levels and dynamic lines it will display. The next section pertains to the settings of static pivot periods and dynamic pivot settings. The next section allows you to show or hide the upper static lines where you can change the color and type of drawing for the upper static lines. The following section pertains to showing or hiding the lower static lines including the color and type of drawing for the lower static lines, which can be set as dotted, dashed, or solid. The next part relates to showing or hiding the upper dynamic lines, where you can change the color and type of drawing for these lines. The last section concerns showing or hiding the lower dynamic lines, where you can also change the color and type of drawing. Here, I will select the dark template. I will change the line colors, selecting blue, green, and blue along with green for this section. After that, I will apply the changes. Here, my template has changed, and my dynamic lines are now blue and my lower static lines have changed to green. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comment section.